Well, I wanted to make a shop tour video, and the first thing that occurred to me was to try to make a big, fancy production. But then I realized that you guys probably don't want to see that. So I just grabbed my camera, and I walked around and looked at my tools. I'm going to start right at the front door of the shop. Uh, right beside that, I've got sheet storage. Well, there's nothing fancy here. These are just leaning against the wall. Right beside the sheet storage is my new dust collector. Well, at least it's newly rebuilt. This works by drawing the air through the filter rather than pushing it through. And I've used regular PVC sewer pipe to hook it up to my table saw and my chop saw. Speaking of the chop saw, here it is right here. I've made a stand or a station for it to go in and it has a hood that catches most of the dust. It also has a drawer that the dust falls into and I can pull that out and clean it out when I need to. Tools open. I've got dust standing here so that when I need to clean this out, just take that out, scrape everything up, and the garbage can like that. In the bottom of the chop saw station are a couple of tip-out bins that I keep circular saw blades in. Next to the chop saw station is my lathe. This is a, a lower cost model and I don't use it a whole lot, but when I do, I really appreciate it. The drill press is on the end wall of the shop along with my drill press cabinet. I keep all of the drilling accessories in this drill press cabinet. It's got a couple of drawers in the bottom that I keep drill bits and other various things in. And the shelf above for the two devices that I have, the steel one and the wooden one. And above that, there's more storage, in particular, a place to keep my drill press table when I don't use it. Over in the corner, my homemade bandsaw. I originally built this for resawing only, but have started using it for other cuts as well. I put a thinner blade on and it works great. Stepping back into the room a little bit, and here is my router table. It's got bit storage in each end, and I recently added wheels to the back legs here so that I could easily move it. My workbench is on the south wall of the shop, and I recently made a couple of additions to this as well. An older project is my quick release vise. It still works great. It makes that horrendous sound, but that really has no effect on it whatsoever. I also made this wooden vise that I use quite a lot, actually. I built a drawer cabinet that fits underneath the workbench, and to the back of that, I added some clamp racks. I left space between the workbench and the wall so I can get in here and work. Uh, the drawers open up into this space. The drawers at the bottom are deeper and hold bigger tools. The drawers at the top are not as deep and hold smaller things. Moving along, here's my planer stand with built-in chip collection. On the wall beside the planer, I have a heated cabinet where I keep glue and finishes to keep them at room temperature in my cold shop. Heat comes from a light bulb and it keeps the inside of the cabinet to whatever temperature you set the thermostat to. Beside that cabinet, I've got a rack that holds my dado set. I got tired of dealing with the plastic case that the dado came in. This is a lot more convenient. Beneath the heated cabinet are my stackable storage boxes, and these are also a recent video and website article. Moving along, this is my sanding station. This is one of the first projects that I put on my website. It has drawers for organizing sheets and sanding discs and all kinds of sanding accessories. It also has built-in dust collection. I've got an old chop back in here and the hose comes up and it works with both machines, the spindle sander and my homemade disc sander. At the front of the shop there's my downdraft sanding table and it has lots of drawers and bins for all kinds of screws and fasteners that I normally use. On top of the sanding table is my belt sander platform. I use this a lot for both metalworking and woodworking, and you can see it in most of my videos. On the garage door above the sanding table are a bunch of my homemade clamps. 
And beside that is my steel wood rack that's loaded up with short pieces of mostly hardwood. In the corner beside the door is a tall shelf unit where I keep a lot of different things, mostly jigs that I've made. I made a bin that fits underneath the unit since I didn't let the unit go all the way down to the floor. The wheels on the bin are angled so that the bin rolls out at an angle. So that's my shop. Most of the things I've shown here are either on my website or you can find a video of it on my YouTube channel. Well, I hope you liked it and thanks for watching.